Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Our family has been homeschooling slash unschooling our kids. Uh, we have a nine-year-old son and a seven-year-old daughter. We have been homeschooling slash unschooling since 2014. That's about five and a half years. And we thoroughly enjoy it. I enjoy it. I'm around many homeschooling families and so sometimes when I'm not, when I'm around uh, mothers that uh, send their kids to school and it is during a holiday like winter vacation, uh, winter recess or spring recess or summer vacation and I tell them that we homeschool some of them say, wow, you are so brave. I could never do that. I could never be around my kids so much. I can't wait for them to go back to school. And to me, this illustrates uh, a, a very different mindset of how they perceive parenting and how we perceive parenting. If you use force and coercion and threats of violence, threats of force and angry words to have your kids act a certain way or behave a certain way or think a certain way, I could definitely see how that sort of authoritarian parenting is extremely exhausting mentally and physically and how yes you would need a break from that because because it is just it's mind-numbingly exhausting and I could not I could not imagine myself acting that way towards my kids for a variety of reasons not only because it's exhausting but because also I believe it's uh, it's not the correct way to parent it's not the peaceful parenting approach, it's using your authority in a way that is not right, that is unjust. The way we try to parent according to peaceful parenting is we talk to our kids pretty much as equals. And if there is a power discrepancy, it would be more akin to me being, um, you know, just because of my experience in the world, I would be like an advisor, um, somebody they would come to for advice because they know that me or my wife have more experience in the world and therefore we have the ability to solve their problems much better. But we do not force them by threats of violence or angry words to obey us because that only creates children who act out of fear and who learn to obey rather than to learn to be independent self-reliant thinking individuals which is our goal which is what we want our kids to be we want we encourage our kids to solve their own problems, to figure out solutions to complex situations without feeling like they need to run to an authority figure, an adult, to solve their problems. And the earlier that they can achieve this goal, the better will it be for them. Um, so peaceful parenting is fundamental not only for the emotional health but also for the physical health of your kids and for the intellectually it helps to mature them that much quicker right the more that you talk down to your children the more that you treat them as an inferior as a subject the more you are belittling them the more you are stating that they are less than that they are not entirely complete human being because they have not reached an arbitrary number of years <laughs> and uh, and this is absurd 
So we need to treat our children as equals. If you do not feel comfortable hitting your friend or speaking harshly to your friend for dropping something, for breaking something, why would you feel it necessary to do so with your children? Children have not been given the choice to come into this world. They have not been given the choice of which parents to have. It is not their choice. They are thrust into this world. And so we must do our utmost to make their childhood a magnificent one and one enviable by others. We must make it as though if they did have a choice to choose who their parents would be, that they would necessarily choose us because we have demonstrated our parenting to be thoughtful, compassionate, wise, and loving. We want our children to be become such citizens like this, such individuals. I always like to tell people that however you view the future to be, that's how you should raise your children, right? If you want the future to be filled with fear, with blind obedience, with violence, with brutality, sure, you raise your kids that way and it will be so. But if you want the future to be filled with individuals that are kind, compassionate, loving and gentle and peaceful and rational, then that's how you should raise your children. You should teach them to utilize and to exercise their faculties for reason and logic at as an early, as an early age as possible. At as an early age as possible. <laughs> because the sooner they're able to have those abilities, the, the quicker they will become a truly wonderful human being. And remember, they're only short and small for a time. Eventually they will grow up and um, they will judge you. So how do you want to be judged as a parent? That's how you should, you should raise your kids. In the words of, I believe it's Michael Douglas, uh, <laughs> Frederick Douglas, uh, the father, the child is the father of the adult. So the way you speak to your children becomes their inner voice. This is Danilo Quayer from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Hope you all have a magnificent day. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.